What a crazy roller coaster of a Friday. We started the day with this report from Reuters. Tesla scraps low-cost car plans amid fierce Chinese EV competition. Basically, the summary is this. Entry-level Tesla car won't be built, three sources tell Reuters. Tesla to focus on self-driving taxis instead. Strategy shift comes as Tesla faces competition from China EV makers, including BYD. They even say here, the automaker will continue developing self-driving robot taxis on the same small vehicle platform. By the way, this is a platform, not a model. On a platform, you are able to produce a couple of models. So, yeah, I mean, we've known for a while that this platform will be used for the robot taxi, will be used for the compact car as well. In my opinion, it would be a huge mistake to skip the compact car and go straight to the robot taxi, straight to the car with no steering wheel. But before we discuss all of that, Elon Musk was quick to reply on X, Reuters is lying again. Of course, beforehand, the stock fell. After Elon's reply, the stock went back up. Now the report continued here with regards to the two sources. They said they learned of Tesla's decision to scrap the Model 2 in a meeting attended by scores of employees with one of them saying the gathering happened in late February. Elon's directive is to go all in on Robotaxi. The third source confirmed the cancellation and said new plans call for Robotaxis to be produced but in much lower volumes than had been projected for the Model 2. Which of course, if you're reading that before you saw Elon's response, it was pretty concerning. Because how are you going to drive up unit volume, right? For years and years ahead, how are you going to reach that 20 million goal, which in my opinion, they won't be reaching by 2030. But how are you going to do that without a compact car, a Model 2 with steering wheel at $25,000? It's probably impossible. Despite me being quite positive on FSD, on robot taxis, the future for that, I'm, I have no doubt that they can figure out the tech and all of those issues. I have more doubts on it being regulatorily approved on time. That's the issue. Plus, plus, we're only talking here about the United States. Because the United States, you already have way more crews. You have Tesla FSD beta, sorry, supervised. But in Europe, in China, in other countries around the world, you, you don't have those things. So what? All the other countries around the world are not allowed to buy an affordable Tesla? are not allowed to have access to a Model 2, just doesn't make any sense, right? More on that in just a second. Then, then, after the market closed, we got this huge tweet, which you've seen already in the thumbnail. Tesla Robotaxi unveil on the 8th of August. By the way, the number 8 here, in China, 8 is the luckiest number there. Remember, back in 2008, August 8th, at 8 p.m. and 8 minutes, the Beijing Olympic Games started. Is this Elon's way of saying that FSD is also going to launch in China? Maybe, maybe not, remains to be seen. Now, before continuing with our just speaking out loud session here, of course, you can always write your comments down in sections below. If you enjoy this type of videos, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe, if not, we really appreciate that. Don't worry, tomorrow I'll have the usual Tesla weekly video going over the usual China numbers and especially the numbers out of Europe for the month of March. So stay tuned for that. If you want to support me even further, do check out the link down in the description and in the pinned comment to get a top 10 best stocks to buy now or go to full.com forward slash couch investor. Thank you very much. Now, let's go over this Sawyer Mary tweet, which Elon responded to as well. So Elon just said Reuters was lying. However, here is my general thinking. Tesla's low-cost $25,000 car and the Robotaxi were always going to be based on the same platform. They were going to be very similar, but the $25,000 version was going to have a steering wheel, which in my opinion is very, very important. Maybe Elon and the team have been so impressed with how good FSD 12 has performed and were maybe thinking they should be shifting even more resources to the Robotaxi FSD effort. That doesn't mean the $25,000 car is canceled. Again, they share the same platform to which Elon responded with the eye emoji. Sorry, you're saying, I'll take that as a confirmation. And again, I do hope and think, yeah, that this doesn't mean that the $25,000 car is canceled. By the way, I don't know why we're calling it the $25,000 car. I mean, I, I, I hope it's $25,000 car. We don't know. So let's just call it the Model 2, the compact car. I truly hope it will have a steering wheel. I truly hope they are still thinking about building a couple of models 
on that next generation platform. Now, switching back to that announcement, switching back to that tweet, what happens on August 8th? Are we getting an event, an unveiling just like the Cybertruck, where they already have a prototype ready for us to see? If it's RoboTaxi, will they be able to show us that it is a RoboTaxi? Meaning, is there going to be an app where you order a ride and the car comes and you can enter and that's the whole show? Could be. What type of model are they going to show us? Solely the RoboTaxi model, meaning no steering wheel, seats are facing each other. Is that going to be the unveiling or is the unveiling going to be the compact car with and without steering wheel? Plus the rideshare app, because that's also a big deal, right? Imagine suddenly Tesla comes out, hey, yeah, actually all the drivers right now that have FSD enabled, you can actually already join the app for whenever we get the regulatory approval for the wide release. Suddenly, lots of Tesla drivers become automatic Uber drivers for Tesla. They make money thanks to their car. Could very well be. So yeah, my question here is the unveiling. Are they just going to talk about what's going to happen? I don't know when, six months from then, a year, two years, three years, or are they already going to show us a, let's call it prototype, just like we've seen with the Cybertruck, right? We had the Cybertruck event. We see the Cybertruck, we know what we can expect. And then, of course, we had to wait a couple of years, but at least visually, we've seen what was expected. I don't know. Just putting all those questions out there, of course, leave your comments down in the section below. I also do think that the report from Reuters probably pushed Elon to announce this on X already right now, because maybe there will be more information coming out in the coming weeks, coming months. So they were like, you know what? Screw this, I'm already going to post that. We're going to have an event early in August. We're going to show them what we've got. Could very well be. It's also a sign of Tesla to tell their partners, right? Battery makers, all the, all the companies that they're working with in the supply chain to say, look, hey, we're still planning on doing these things. Trust us, you're going to have a lot of work in the years to come. Could very well be. Now, Elon also liked another tweet on X today with regards to Brett Winton. He's the chief futurist at ARK Invest. I don't know what the title is, but okay, let's just roll with it. So he says here, any prioritization of the robotaxi program should be read as a massive positive for Tesla. That the stock sold off so severely on a Reuters story reporting on the same indicates how profoundly existing holders misunderstand Tesla's future value. I, I think it was mainly algos, but okay. Then this is the tweet here. So sell a car at $25,000, yield an optimistic $2,500 in income once. Plus I do think that he has to calculate here FSD subscription or I mean the license, which will increase the income in my opinion. Or option two, deploy a robot taxi at $1 per mile, yield $25,000 in income annually. How did he reach that? Well, you have to reach Tashla's ARC research. I think he linked it down below. So I linked the tweet so you can go directly to that. Basically, one robot taxi is worth $50,000, $25,000 car sales on a present value basis. Oh, and by the way, if we're talking about FSD, if we're talking about vision, then we probably also have to talk about the humanoid robot. Because remember, it's training a car, but that training could also be helping the robot. Could we be getting some news with regards to the humanoid robot as well? Maybe. How big of an effect is the success of FSD-12 going to have on the humanoid robot? In my opinion, quite big. And I think the profitability side of things with the humanoid robot is probably bigger than with the compact car robotaxi side of things. Again, I could be completely wrong, of course, but I do think that right now people forgot about the humanoid robot and the fact that it will also be using, I mean, vision. So yeah, I mean, that's also something to keep an eye on, I guess. But moving to the last point here is, well, the fact that it doesn't really matter. I mean, yes, if they sold FSD, great. But then, then what happens? You need regulatory approval. Yes, Waymo already operates in a couple of areas, but again, do they operate in a couple of areas because these are pre-mapped zones? Or is that a requirement? Is that not a requirement? I don't know. I'm asking you, I don't know. I've talked with a couple of people on X. 
they don't know either. So you let me know. But it's great that they might have figured it out. But to get it approved for the mass public, I'm just talking about the United States, by the way, because in Europe, I don't expect FSD to be widely available for years and years to come. But solely talking about the United States here, how long is that going to take? It's a question. This is politics, this is bureaucracy, paperwork, stuff like that. Remains to be seen. So yeah, you have to take all of that into consideration. An event, a news, an unveiling is all great. But from that point until it actually materializing in their statement, in revenue, in profits, in you actually being able to use it, is probably going to be still a year or two out. Just, just in my opinion, I'm talking from now. So a year out is, is not even second half of 2025. So probably even more. Just so you know, I know we're always forward looking, but this is not something that will happen in August. No, the unveiling will happen in August and then we'll have to wait who knows how long. Now, currently, the market is semi-impressed, I would say. After hours, the stock is up around 4% or so. The stock is now at $172.87, basically catching up all of the big hit that it got at the start of the week because of the production and delivery numbers. Now, we're still weeks away from the earnings report and earnings call. That will definitely change the trajectory for Tesla. But currently, the stock is holding up quite well at around $160, $165. I do still think that the biggest moves will happen when they report earnings and when we'll have an earnings call, which hopefully they'll provide a lot of answers to most of our questions. So, yeah, I mean, exciting stuff and exciting Friday, that's for sure. Do share all your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. If you enjoy this type of videos, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you all tomorrow for the next one. Bye-bye.